good morning. Um, we are leaving a Trail Angels house who <laughs> picked us up uh, from the grocery store out of Manchester City yesterday. So our plan was to hike, go into the grocery store and then resupply and then hike out because um, there was a shelter in a couple miles. But then when we were repackaging our resupply, um, a really nice um, gentleman came over with his three cute, cute babies, a four-year-old, a two-year-old, and a one-year-old. Um, maybe, maybe the middle one's three, I don't know. But they were so sweet and adorable. And then he was just like, do you guys need a place to stay? Um, you can come and shower at our house. And, and he just like was so hospitable. And so, yeah, that was amazing. He was so nice. And so we were just like, sure. So he has um, stuff to do this morning. So we have to hitchhike back to the trail. Um, so we're walking down this road, getting to a farm stand where he said it might be easier to get a ride. Uh, so kind of on the side of the road, but hopefully not for too long and then hopefully we get a ride pretty quick. It's like 7.30, so Ow. a little bit um, later than we normally would start if we were on trail. Made it back to trail, two hitches, not too long. So, <clears throat> heading up Bromley Mountain now, and yeah, I'm feeling good. Pushing up to the top of this first climb, Mount Bromley, and then I'm going to take a break, make some coffee because I did not have enough in town. Um, feeling exhausted, even though the climb was pretty gradual. Well, and not too bad, at least. I think I'm to the top. Okay, so we made coffee on top of Mount Bromley. Name of the mountain. Um, and then I had a big cry session. I just feel like I can't shake. Just being emotionally and physically exhausted and wanting to be done walking all day <laughs> and it just all kind of hit me that like even though all these good things are happening like we met that trail angel yesterday and got to have all this time with some cute babies <laughs> and like had a short day yesterday and then I had a trail angel last week Monica like hosted me in her house and all these town stays and getting to sleep in my bed so often, like <sighs> all these like good things that are like a big emotional support, you know, and trying to knock down my mileage and my daily mileage a bit and just be more mindful and doing my stretches. I did those this morning. I think like I still just like kind of just like hit me like a cascading waterfall of just emotions and <clears throat> feeling like I want to be done but I don't want to quit <laughs> that I have to keep going but like it's like so hard <laughs> to do um so uh coyote caught up to me on the mountain and just we chatted and you know I think he could 
He sympathized with how I was feeling and kind of described how he was feeling similarly recently because it can get so hard out here. And I think it's just like that point in the trail where it's like so close, but also so far and just like my body's just like kind of beat down. My emotions are beat down. And so I'm feeling better. We sat on top of the mountain and like let the sun like warm our faces and just relax for probably over an hour. <laughs> and we're only a few miles into the day. So I think that was really nice. So I'm feeling a little bit better. I don't feel on the verge of tears necessarily. Um, just, yeah, I'm just trying to let the emotions roll by and, and feel better. So that's a little update on how I'm feeling and what's kind of going on. Tiny bit of snow. Oopsies. Ooh, mud. My shoes are still a pretty good barrier against the mud, even though they're getting so old. Okay, the air is full of the fragrance of these little flowers right now. It is pretty beautiful and amazing. There are so many. <laughs> wow. Whew, climb up. This peak, I think it's pretty short and steep, but might be to the top soon. Only about a mile left to the shelter all these really pretty little creeks, streams I guess, tiny little things. This light is so dreamy, coming through all these green leaves. This river. It's like the Big Branch River. We're staying at the shelter just past this. So, so cool. Look at this bridge, too. This is 
my kind of river. This is like a basking in the sun, getting in, getting out kind of river. Wow, cool. The shelter's right on the river. Pretty. <sighs> okay, so made it to the shelter. Hiked like 16 and a half miles today. I think it was just really good and necessary to make it a little easier. Um, give myself space to feel what I'm feeling and also just be present out here but not too overwhelmed by the miles um so it was really nice to quite a few like really long breaks it's um what time is it it's 7 12 now so I'm gonna make some dinner and enjoy the evening hopefully the bugs don't swarm me too much <laughs> i had my bug head net on for a little bit earlier because they've been, they were dive bombing my face as I was like crossing the muddy patches. <laughs> so that was terrible. But with the head net, it's not so bad. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.